Hi guys, welcome to the short video about if it makes sense to build your own power bank with a case and batteries inside. So we are, the question is why would you want to do that? Uh, there are actually two reasons which I see at the moment. First thing is uh, when the power banks usually die in 99% of all the cases not the case is damaged but only the battery because they have a certain uh, lifespan yeah when you have charged them maybe 500 times 1000 times maybe you have been overheating them or uh, yeah abusing them in a different way or whatsoever uh, they could die pretty fast and yeah so you then actually don't want to spend more money on the case but just on new batteries so that's the first thing and second thing is when you go on amazon and you look at these listings very cheap listings usually uh, very high milliampere hour ratings then you know, I mean, at least when you're following my channel, you know that these numbers are absolutely not true. You can easily deduct 50% of that. So when they list power bank of 10,000 milliampere hours, usually it's 5,000 milliampere hours. When you see one for 20, with 20,000 milliampere hours, it's maybe 10,000 milliampere hours. So in this neighborhood. So you would think, yeah, when you buy the things on your own then you know what's inside and yeah maybe you can even save a lot of money i mean there yeah you would expect that they make money uh, when they buy the cases and they buy the batteries and there must be uh, like a margin on top of that and uh, if, it, if you do the job on your on your end maybe you can save a lot of money so a couple of possible reasons to do that I mean you could do everything on your own i mean you could even buy the single components inside but it's a, that's a total different thing and very difficult and you you would have to have a really good knowledge to do that but um, yeah i'm just talking about these sets which everybody can buy and it's really tempting but unfortunately i haven't been able to find a lot of information about that and also not many youtube videos about that so i started to do a little bit of research on my end and yeah basically the answer if you just want to have a short answer on this and don't uh, want to watch the whole video the answer is don't do it okay so now i'm going into detail and explain you what the problems are there are many many problems with that so first thing is cases cases are uh, really different cases i mean it starts with cases which are basically just the case and a little bit of electronics and do not even include the wire that's something which you can expect for around five dollars something like this here when we go to the detailed description they say of course batteries are not included but not only the batteries are not included but also the wires are not included yeah i mean here you have it does not contain battery and wire yeah okay so that's not everybody thinks to then add the wires you would have to yeah that's not something which you have at home usually and uh, to connect the wires and the batteries and the, the electronics so uh, I would highly recommend to stay away at least from these super cheap things but how about maybe ten dollars or so you can at least expect to have the complete set with the wiring the electronics and everything so why not to buy something like that yeah that's even another problem here the the super cheap sets here usually they have a lid uh, which can only be used once so they uh yeah and when you close them i mean even when you did everything correct you can just use it once and when the battery is end of life you have to throw anyway everything into garbage as you would have to do with the normal power bank when you buy it from amazon or so so there's not much profit or not much win on that so you would have to buy something which have a re removable uh, lid 
Yeah, here I have something. I mean, that's a del deluxe uh, thing. It has even quick charge. I mean, not wireless, but a quick charge. It has a lot of uh, nice information here, uh, which you can see. I mean, it shows even the voltage of not only the output but even the cell so that's pretty good but then you are already on twenty dollars so yeah how does it uh, turn out when you have to buy the battery the really tricky thing is then also uh, which batteries you have to buy i mean they say the, the dimensions but i've been checking a lot of listings on ebay about these cases and none of them mentioned which type of lithium ion batteries you have to buy i mean usually we are talking about lithium ion i mean the days of nickel cadmium or nickel metal hybrid are uh, almost over so we are definitely talking about lithium ion but there are different types at least two different types so usually when it comes to consumer products we are talking about these things 1.5 volts double a batteries yeah this normal 18650 batteries and the thing here actually is i mean most people don't know that that even when we don't have like usb plugs or ports or usb a i mean which some of these have even when we have this normal thing and you would think yeah everything is just the battery inside no it's not there is a lot of electronics inside because uh, native lithium ion has 3.7 volts so there's quite some space needed uh, for the electronics to reduce the voltage from 3.7 to 1.5 volts so it doesn't make any sense to use these uh, 1.5 volts lit rechargeable lithium ion batteries uh, first reduce the voltage and then increase to 5 volts again for USB so the thing is actually what we have to buy that's something like that yeah here we are on amazon four piece 5800 milliampere hours 3.7 volts that's actually what we need but when we look at the reviews uh yeah the experts really say there is no such thing as 5000 milliampere hour uh, of this size battery i think the maximum currently from lg or so is 3400 around that so that's definitely also a scam again so it doesn't help when we buy these things on our end uh, so it seems like not only the sellers of the power bank are cheating but also when, when you buy the single batteries they are cheating as well so it's difficult to find something really reliable which is better so we we had really hard time to find something like even here 6800 and i've seen listing this uh, up to 9900 milliampere hours it's just not around as i mean as as far as i know if you have other uh, knowledge about that just let me know but as far as i know there's no nothing in this neighborhood and there's the next problem that's not only in this there's there are even more problems and that's the flat top i mean we have the normal top where the plus is with these bumps which we are used and then we have the flat top i don't know if you can see that here i mean for me it doesn't look like flat top but maybe it is so here i mean for me it looks like a normal top maybe they, ju they just uh, are using a different picture flat top is really flat flat usually maybe they just use some kind of generic picture here so here we have a nice picture of the button top and not the flat top um, yeah some of the cases you really have to be careful some of the cases use the button top and some are using the flat top just make sure that you buy the right ones and so we have here a sample i mean at least we have one good rating of course could be fake but let's check on that for me that looks more or less reasonable i mean we have these 3.7 volts which we need we have eight pieces we have 3000 milliampere hours lithium rechargeable everything what we need then we go and search for the sellers we find one thing 29 dollars so let's uh, do a little bit of mass where we end with the power so let's start with these 3000 milliampere hours but we have to increase that to 5 volts so we divide that by 5 and do it 
by 3.7 so that would make it only 2220 milliampere at 5 volts but we have eight batteries so the total of this power bank would then be 17,760 milliampere at 5 volts and yeah we have 30 dollars and we have uh, yeah uh, 10 or maybe even 20 dollars for the power bank if you want to have something with a nice bag which you can open and close and replace the battery so you are at 50 dollars i mean of course you have a really nice thing which is hard to find and hard to buy uh, something with really nice display let's say the one here with this uh, really high-tech display and has a quick charge and removable bag and everything but uh, it's a lot of money yeah it's it's 50 dollars for 17,000 milliampere hours i mean yeah uh if we want to have something really in this area around 17,000 milliampere hours we would probably have to go with something on Amazon with listed as 25,000 milliampere hours because we know we have to at least write 50% or around 50% off so we have to go with 25 or even 30,000 if that exists but I would probably go with 25,000 so we have a chance to get maybe up to 15 thousand milliamps if you are lucky but you can see you can easily buy something like that for twenty dollars uh, there are a lot of reviews good uh, ratings um yeah i mean it's maybe it's maybe not seventeen thousand milliampere hours but still you can expect maybe twelve thousand or so and it's much much cheaper definitely and you don't have to go through the risk and hassle to build and maybe order wrong i mean you maybe order the uh, one thing without the wire you order the wrong battery the flat head or the, the uh, button head instead of the flat head and other problems so there are a lot of obstacles i can really tell you i've been doing a lot of research about that and it's really super super difficult to find out what you really have to buy and most of the listings on ebay they do not have any kind of reviews they have really limited kind of communication with the seller sometimes you have the difficult to get your money back if something happens and so on so uh, for me it's just not worth the the hassle and the money and the time and everything so uh, if you want to need something really powerful i would still definitely go with something here on amazon and look for good reviews and where you have also the return possibilities and can give uh, good reviews and have good communication possibilities with the seller and so on so yeah i mean i wanted to actually make a video about how to build that but there are just too many problems too much risk uh, and it's not worth the money and not worth the time it's just for me actually it just doesn't make any sense so i just wanted to let you know about what i have found during my research and uh, yeah that's it actually for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or other opinions on that maybe if you have already built something like that it would be really interesting to learn from you what's your experience and yeah just leave everything down in the feedback area and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time